going on dudes and dudettes. So yeah, we're not really much to report other than a few uh, seasons ending. We'll get to that in a little bit. But yes, the Ducks the other day did win 4-2. It's pretty cool, I believe, against New Jersey. So hopefully that helps out in the playoff race. Then he also finally had the Chargers making a really good signing in Mike Pouncey, a center or guard he could play for them. You know, you lost Matt Slauson, but, you know, you got a guy who's a bit younger. Yeah, he's a little bit hard-headed maybe, but, you know, he's still a good guy to have for the next two years. So kind of glad they did that. And he wanted to help out, you know, Phillip Rivers as much as they needed because, you know, he's not that much of a mobile guy. Then he also had USC losing yesterday to Western Kentucky. It's tough, you know, they made a couple bad, uh, you know, plays at the end, which they could have maybe tied it or gone in overtime, but, you know, just too much stuff going towards the end of the season that they couldn't get over. So, you know, great season, but, you know, hopefully they come back better next year. We'll see how that goes. Then he also had Coach K over the weekend becoming the most winningest coach in both men's and women's passing Pat Summit. We probably would have had more than him by now, but sadly she passed away a few years ago. But, you know, it's a good accomplishment for him. Hopefully he gets, you know, his 1100th this weekend coming up against Syracuse. That's what we're hoping for. Then we also had uh, a few USC guys getting onto new teams. Matt Barkley somehow still isn't on my chargers, but he's going to Cincinnati where a few uh, USC guys, quarterbacks, have gone. So good luck to him. And he also had... Uh, Zach Banner getting claimed by the Panthers so maybe you know it's good for him but it's always going to be tough for him but thanks a lot thanks for watching guys like and subscribe comment down below have a great rest of your week